Notability is really helpful for taking notes, but it's also great for staying organized. Tap here to go to your library. You can see here that I have a notebook for media productions that has lots of different sections in it, and inside each section are all kinds of different notes. This lets me keep everything organized, and I can just tap on the name of the notebook, Media Productions, and it collapses, so I don't have to look at all of my sections and notes all the time. My only gripe is that Notability gives the notebooks and sections kind of funny names. Notebooks are called dividers, and sections are called subjects. So to make a new notebook, I tap on Create Divider and give it a name. But before I can add notes to my notebook, I need to add a few sections. Remember, Notability calls those subjects. So I go back to the plus button and I add a few subjects. In Notability, all of your subjects and dividers have to have unique names. So if by accident you get an error message, just try changing the name, and that usually works. If you accidentally put a subject in the wrong divider, it's pretty easy to move them around. Just tap the Edit button in the top left corner of your screen. Now, tap, hold, and drag on those three white lines to move a subject into a new divider. When you're done, tap the Done button. Now you can move a note from somewhere else in Notability into one of the new subjects that you made. To do that, tap, hold, and drag the little picture of the note from the place where it is now to the place where you want it. If you tap in the middle of the note right there, you'll be asked to duplicate it. Don't do that. Instead, just tap, hold, and drag the picture of the note. One more thing you can do from the Edit button is tap the gear icon next to a divider or a subject, and that lets you change the color of the subject or the name of the divider. Well, there you go. Now your Notability is all organized into notebooks and sections, and you've even changed the colors to make it look pretty.